Joining us now to talk about the outlook for tech and his own company is Robert Beecham. He is the president and CEO of BMC Software. Bloomberg Businessweek named it one of the top 50 performing stocks in the S&P over the past five years. Uh, Bob, thanks for joining us. Let's okay. talk. Let's talk first of all a little bit about the jobs picture because you just told uh, me and Carol that you guys are hiring. Uh, but it's also interesting that you offer software that makes a lot of people redundant, right? I mean, you can turn 100 people into two or three at a company. That's right. Well, I mean, it, it, conceptually, that's correct. I mean, yesterday I was, or two days ago, I was with three different customers, and what they're talking about is they want to free up people who are working on uh, really things that are almost uh, very uh, repetitive in their IT processes, mess managing IT. They want to free those people up to work on new applications and new revenue generating activities. So I, I don't, not too many of our customers are just saying, I've just got to just take people out. They're really saying we need to grow their, their, our company. We've got to free up resources to do so. Well, that's an interesting point because for so long over the last year or so, it's all been about cost cutting for companies. You're not seeing that in your customers, that they're actually looking to grow revenues. It's not just about keeping costs down. At well, this point. what we're not seeing is people just holding their breath, right? You don't have just that freeze anymore. In fact, some people held their breath a little too long and they're having to invest back in IT or they're going to find themselves falling behind in right. terms of innovation. What we are seeing is, is our customers are challenging us to help them come up with new ways of doing things, really innovate processes. It's not just simple cost cutting. It's really about new processes, new ways of doing business. How can we really grow our business in new innovative ways? Are you seeing customers come up with cash? I mean, are they spending money to do this? Absolutely they are. We And actually, we have customers who are spending money because they see a new innovation, new services like cloud computing that they see is going to help drive their business forward. We also see customers who are trying to just free up, as you mentioned, free up resources they're spending on the back office and running the business and they want to free them up to go to the front office. And both of those customer sets are absolutely spending right now. Now, cloud computing is a big push for you guys, correct? Yes, it is. But still only a small part of revenues. I think $100 million versus about $2 billion overall. So yes. a small part of the business, how quickly do you ramp it up? Well, it's ramping up. Uh, very rapidly. In fact, how, we, weren't, how, 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 well, we weren't even talking about cloud computing per se uh, probably only three years ago. We were seeing virtualization coming online. We mm -hmm. were seeing the, you know, obviously internet-based applications coming up. When those two really came together, virtualization and, and, and high-speed internet, we really saw now the innovation around cloud computing. So that's just really gotten started in the last, say, six quarters. We've done about 100 million. So uh, that's, we, we see that and ramping dramatically. We should remind everybody, if you're not cloud computing, it's, it's internet-based computing, correct? And you're kind of working under that framework versus... It, it, it is. It's, it's really, a, it, there's kind of two ways to think about it. One from a consumer, somebody that wants something from computing on, mm -hmm. in enterprises. They want to, they want a service from IT. They don't want to buy computers. They don't want data centers. They just want a service from IT and they want to pay as they use it. So that's their perspective. From an IT executive's point, perspective, they want their IT organization standardized and simplified and automated where basically it's almost like buying a book at Amazon. You want to say, I need a service from IT, point, click, in a matter of minutes or hours, it's up and running and you're paying for it. By the way, is the bandwidth there for, for companies to do this? Because I've noticed as a consumer, it's still a little bit too slow to use reliably yeah, it, it really is, in, particularly inside their enterprise applications. If you're really talking about a, a, a large corporation or a not-for-profit or governmental entity, they, they manage their own internal networks and there's ample bandwidth there. When you go outside and you're using things some as iPads and new technologies, then now you're more dependent on external resources, but uh, the bandwidth's coming for that. Bob, Bob I want to ask you, because you guys are reporting in August, but you know, half of your revenues are from the United States, the rest overseas, primarily Europe. What kind of slowdown in the business, the European business, are you seeing? Well, we do. We did when we guided uh, in our last earnings call, we did expect to see Europe slow somewhat, but that's because, frankly, we had come off a remarkable growth in Europe. We we'd had uh, kind of exceptional double digit growth in Europe for the past several quarters. Uh, we think, <clears throat> excuse me, that was in large part due to market share gaining, that we were taking large customers and, and they were adopting our technology. But we do expect it to slow. Because of the fiscal situation? <clears throat> yes, over a lot we're of just in generally, well, coming off, uh, coming off strong compares, uh, that's one. But the other one, was just in general, we want to be a little more cautious in Europe. And when we guided um, last quarter for the year, we assumed less uh, less profound growth in Europe. Is that why the stock seems to lag? Tech in general has seemed to lag, even though it's sort of the darling of, of, uh, of PMs. Well, you know, I think in our case, uh, we had good comps coming off last year. So we've had, as you noted in your, in your magazine, right. five years of good solid performance. So we didn't quite have the terrible compares others had uh, to grow from. But I think Got in it. general, people want to see growth. That's All what right. they're looking for right now. Hey, Bob, thanks so much for joining us. Bob Beach and BMC.